we're going to machine this part from start to finish using Mastercam Mill Turn. One of the most challenging aspects of Mill Turn is view and plane manipulation. So we're going to pay particular close attention to those lessons throughout this sample part. Now here I have a part that I've imported from another CAD program and it came in skewed in space. Now Mill Turn does not support WCS so we have to move this part to a logical location as if it were sitting on our machine. To do so, I'm going to XForm Dynamic, so XForm Dynamic, select Entity, pick my solid, and Selection, and now I need to set up my coordinate system. So first, make sure I'm in 3D mode, and I'm going to land my Nomen at the endpoint of a line that I want along the X axis. And then I'm going to select the X axis rotate and snap it to the other end of that line. And then select the origin of my nomen and snap it to the center of that arc. And then I switch to manipulate geometry and copy geometry. And then I'm going to use these handy buttons move to origin and align with system WCS. As I zoom out, you can see my part automatically placed at the system origin and then accept the results. And now there's a reason that I copied this part instead of moved it. Now if there was an engineering change in the original CAD file, I would be able to re-import it into Mastercam and that file would come in in the same place as my first part and I'd be able to compare the two. So what I'm going to do is just send this original part to another level so I can turn it off and just work with my relocated part. And now I'm going to bring in a machine. So machine type, lathe, default, and now I need to go in and I'm going to switch this from the default lathe to an advanced mill turn machine. So this will have both spindles, the main and the sub, and two turrets already set up for me. Now it's very important when it comes to your own machines that you have a proper machine and control definition and custom post developed. There's a huge variety and difference between all the different manufacturers mill turn machines and invariably a custom post is going to be needed. So for this I'll just select Mill Turn Advanced, OK. Now for the rest of my setup I need to go in and set my stock and chucks up just like a regular lathe operation. So stock setup, stock, properties, and if you're following along with this file you can set your stock up to these values here. and then my chuck and if you're following along set this up as so. This will conclude our setup in the following video we'll start our turning operations.